Now let's do a role based authorization. So for the token, we are getting this um, user info and we're passing it inside our request.user. And this um, user info contains the user ID and the if the user is admin or not. So we're going to use that to check if the user is admin. So we're going to create a new middleware which is just gonna check if user is admin. So here's the same sport. I'm calling it admin, but you can name it however you like. So here you just need to check if that request.user there is an admin in it and if it's true. So I'm gonna do if request.user is admin. If the user is not an admin, it's going to return a status response status 403 and we're gonna send back uh, any message. Nope. And if the user is admin, you just call it next. So for that to work, let's drop the database. First, and then I'm going to inside our user route here on the delete, I'm gonna import that admin and also the authorization. And the authorization is because for this function to run, we need the user from the request. And uh, we are setting the request.user here on the authorization. So we need to run the authorization and then the admin on that route. So let's do on the delete for authorization. And then the admin. And then we can uh, do the delete. If the user is authorized and if he has a valid token, we save the, the information. We save his information inside the request. The admin will use that request.user and check if it's admin. And if it's not, it's gonna say no. And if he is, it's gonna go for the next do next and then it's gonna pass to this delete user function. So if it's all good, we can try it out and it should work. So let me just call, close everything. We need to create a new user, two new users actually. First, I'm gonna start the server. If you ever get this um, port in use, and you know it's not used, you can use a command in Unix at least called sudo net start. This is going to check the network stats and then uh, dash tlnp. And this is going to give you all the TCP ports of open. And here you have a node somewhere here. That's the 88 port that's being taken by node. You can do a Q28251, which is the PID number. PID is the process ID in Linux. So we just queue that one. If you run that function again, you see that there's no more node over here. So it's just so you can clear up the port in case you get stuck in it. There you go, so let's create some users. Let's do a post. For sign up. There we go, it's created. I'm just gonna create a new one. So now that we have two users, there we go, first and the second. 
I'm going to change this users to be, to be admin. So we do a post, a put request to that user so we can uh, edit it. HTTP put need to get its ID and here let's change is admin equals true and if we reload now it's admin is true so we can actually continue and test out our route so first I'm gonna sign up sign in so I can get a uh, a token so I'm gonna sign in to get the token and then here I'm gonna use the ID for that user we just do HTTP delete users I'm gonna copy his ID Let's do a slash over here and now I can pass the token. So access token equals. Here is not equal. It's a colon. And uh, you need to pay attention to this in case you paste it on the terminal. It might break down in two lines, which is shouldn't be. You just need to clear out the extra space so when you do that it got deleted now if you check our database there we go let's create a new user and now we can test without the token so we can see the we will create a new one now I'm gonna try to delete that user without the token so I'm gonna get the ID You must sign in first, which is coming from this middleware. Because first I need to sign in and then I can actually delete. It's not even getting to this check over here if the user is admin or not. I'll, first I need to sign in. So our our function is working and now we can think like, for example, this is a, we're using it for deleting only. You can use this kind of uh, role-based authentication for a lot of stuff. For example, if uh, here on the shots, for example, on the router, you just want a uh, sign name, a uh, people that is already uh, registered to post something. So you can use that middleware here. And if you also want only people to delete post that is admin, like or moderator, you can create new new fields over here on the model like it's admin it's moderator or whatever and then you create a middleware similar to this one you can also pass the information in the token like we did over here and then use a middleware similar to this to create the logic required to block the user to, to use that resource. 